You're watching Chewing the Cud with my Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. And it wasn't the fact it was a small ferry, it was just the fact of where it actually ended up being. Hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week in the show, Bisley? Gerbils. Gerbils? Mm hmm. Who's Gerbils? <laughs> Can't say. <laughs> Can't say. So that's a joke we're having off air <laughs> that you know chicken out on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Gerald's. Gerald's Gerbils. Yeah. It's okay. a new pet shop that's opened up downstairs. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. For the discerning gentleman. <laughs> I've got some stuff about showbiz, probably people you've never heard of, something about some singers, that kind of stuff. <laughs> nice. Informative. It's called a tease rather than a mysterious why. Um, but on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website and on YouTube or podcast services. Look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. <clears throat> Match your peas, make your vagina Get rid of this tissue. Get rid of this tissue. I don't want to be like, um, what's her face? What's she called? We just have a tissue in her hand when she used to be on telly. She's dead now. Um, Claire, Claire Rayner. Yeah, she used to have like a screwed up tissue in her hand. <clears throat> she would be like that. Anyway. As the names of the people who have reached out and touched our social media souls go along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. I like the way you avoided saying our souls. I know your tricks. Yeah. What have we got today, then? Well, we have things and stuff. You drive, don't you? After a fashion. They <laughs> drive you go very slowly in an automobile. I get in a car, it moves. <laughs> Where it stops, nobody knows. <laughs> you get out going, where am I? <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> Who's moved me mirrors? Um, so, a group of climate protesters right, had glued themselves to a, a car show, basically. Okay. Um, so, car show? Yeah, so you know the big spinny turntables that they put the cars on going, ooh, spinny okay. car. They Fun. glued themselves to one of those. Right, to protest cars. Like physic like glued their shoes to it or glued no, no, their the, skin. Their the skin, hands down. Oh, okay. Well right. done. Um and so the, the the staff at the end of the day went, Oh, okay, just turned off the lights, heat and went home. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because they thought they were gonna basically make sure they went there overnight and like make a big deal about it, but they just went, Okay. Ta-ra. So I'm assuming that they're protesting about the kind of emissions and stuff that cars give yeah. out and petrol and all that kind of stuff. OK. Exactly. So they're protesting about the fact that the petrol cars and they're bad for the environment. Um, Massively well thought out, is it? Mm. Yeah. Now, they just basically went, oh, we're going to look at ourselves. Are you still there in the morning? Are yeah. we still there? Yeah. Yeah. But... Just one bloody foot handprint from somebody who couldn't scrub. <laughs> just chewed their own hand off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, someone came out and looked at you, um, tricycle going, you want to play a game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. There was those other ones that um, emptied all the milk out in the supermarket, didn't they? Did they? The vegan ones, yeah. They went into a supermarket and just poured all the milk all over the floor, which is just ridiculous. It's just waste. It's just, well, you know, I, if you've got your, you've got your opinions, that's mm -hmm. absolutely fine. Yep. But that milk could have gone to people that needed it. Yeah. <laughs> like <Yep>. milk meters. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you could, you could. Like, you could have got it to, like, a nursery who... Exactly. Uh, there might be kids that are transitioning to, so like, from milk and to solid foods. I wondered where you were going there, then. Well, little small that. children. <laughs> small children. Small yes. children. Yes, um, Who are supposed to go through cow milk, so... Yeah. So, would you glue yourself to anything for... No. Snickers I don't care bar. enough about anything. Chocolate bar? No, I don't care enough about anything to do that kind of stuff. You wouldn't stick yourself to a chocolate bar? No, because I'd eat it. Fool. <laughs> I just... Yeah, fool. Do you remember those adverts from, like, the late sort of 80s, 90s, where they glued somebody onto a board and lifted it up in the air in the helicopter to prove that the wallpaper adhesive was really strong? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. Would you? No. <laughs> I'm sure you just said you would do that. I wouldn't. Because, to be fair, there isn't an adhesive <laughs> strong enough that would be able to hold me onto a board. Just literally, whoop, pfft, gone. I'm betting we can get some super glue on. That's a, that's a risk I'm not willing to take. Yeah, it might happen. It might happen. Anyway, um, moving on from cars to calendars. The specific type of calendar 
Do you, do you get a, a yearly calendar? I do. Yeah, what, I do. What, I get a Cali Minigu calendar. Cali Minigu? I do. <laughs> How stereotypical of you. Uh, is it just, just an authorised one? Or no, it's an a, oh, I don't have, a, don't have one of those pound ones that you get from that. That shop that just appears sort of like November time in every town. Calendars are rolls on. Yeah. yeah, with like cheap calendars. No, I go a proper like one. Pandas of the Orient. Yeah, that kind of thing. Goats on the rag, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Goats on the rag. Yeah, that kind of thing. OK, um, I'm going to keep talking. Kevin um, from Redditch has been dubbed the Britain's dullest man yeah. as he releases a calendar every year and he's released another one for 2023 mm -hmm. of car parks of Britain. <laughs> what? There he is. Oh, good for him. You're judging him, aren't you? Uh, well, you know, if it makes him happy, mm -hmm. then go for it. I can't imagine it's a top seller. Can't, I can't imagine it ranks alongside the <laughs> the Kylies of the world or the... the Jason Momoas. The Jason Momoas or the Chickens <laughs> on Heat, those kind of things. Chickens those. on Heat? Animals are a big thing in the calendar world. Goats on the rag, chickens Goats on, on the rag, heat. chickens on heat. Menopausal cats. It's very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, so he said that he's being called the dullest man in Britain, but he's proud and he thinks it's sexy being dull. Right, OK. So I think, good for you, you found something that you're proud of. Mm -hmm. Sexy? No. It doesn't make you sexy. Do you not think? No. I think it's a bit of a no. bit of a dish. Not even a silver, not a silver fox. No, no, nothing. I mean, I'm sure he floats somebody's boat. Uh huh. Just not mine. Okay. Well, his along his top picks are um, Brewer Street car park in Soho in nice. London, um, where it costs forty-seven pounds eighty to co to park for four hours. Oh, don't you like robbery? Oh, oh, expensive. Um, and so, sort of like the most haunted car park in Scotland. Hundreds of people were killed in 1746. Did they have cars then? Yes, they did. This is where the car park's been built. Oh, OK. It wasn't like a massive 1700s, whatever, 1700s, yeah. 1700 car pile up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and he says it's, it's really important to document the car parks. Oh, it is, yes. Yeah, because the car spaces need to get bigger. Oh, they do. So the shapes of car parks are changing. Oh, thrilling. And have we got a picture of it? Just him, or just not a picture just of his? Just him. And if one would want it's, to... It's a... Book is a calendar of car parks. It's not a thrilling. Where, do, where would one purchase this? This from? online. Online. Just Google it. Just Google. Okay. Just have a quick search for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and if you're fed up with googling stuff and want to see what's on our social media, we are at the Cud TV, and that brings us nicely to our story of the week. <laughs> now, bacon sandwiches. Hmm. Tasty. They are. What sauce do you have on them? Ooh, it depends what time of day it is, what mood I'm in. Usually it's a tomato-based sauce. Sometimes it's a H... Oh, can't really say that. Brown sauce. A, a fruity sauce. A brown fruity sauce. Because fruity is different than brown. Yeah. Brown is more spicy, fruity is more fruity. Uh-huh. You know, if I'm going to be really decadent, mm. I might put a little bit of, you know, like onion chutney. Mm. Mm. Oh, in my ear. A little bit of roasted caramelised onion chutney. Oh. oh, now you're talking. OK. Um, <laughs> well, have you, have you heard of Heck? No. The, the meat company, Heck. Oh, God, it's not... Oh, I think I know what you're going to... They have come up with a bean-flavoured sauce. Oh, OK, I didn't think... Oh, right. Cause OK. It's... Yeah. Um, called Bean Chup. That's disgusting. Right. And it's, it's baked bean tomato ketchup, basically, or baked bean ketchup, so that you don't have to have beans on your bacon sandwich because they're messy, you could just have the flavour of beans. It's bean juice. Well, it's not bean juice, it's, it's beans that they made into a sauce. Bean juice. Yeah, I know what bean juice is. Yeah. Yeah, the juice off your bean. It's being sold soon. Soon. Very difficult to get hold of. Just, get, just put some tin, get a tin of beans, mm -hmm. put it in a pan, Yeah. siphon the bean juice off, that's all you have to do. Is that all you have to do? All you have to... Do. Oh, God, you've not got it. <laughs> so, oh, God, I'm not eating it. You need to just give it a try. I don't like them. Just just take a, take a breadstick. There you go. They, they were damaged in transit. I also had to fight them off an eight-month-old puppy. Mm -hmm, they're covered in hair, then. No, no, no they, they're, they're, in the, they're in the plastic. <laughs> I wouldn't but... stop it. 
he, he likes some. Have you? Is that what you've done? Have you? Have you liquidised some beans? I've got some smashed up beans. I've got some bean sauce for you to try. Bean sauce. Mmm. <laughs> I've just got a whiff of it. That is rancid. Let me just we smell both, it. We'll have a, we both have to have a dip. I'm not. Why? Not? I'm not smell it first. Oh. Cheers. You put it in your mouth. <laughs> Cold bean juice. Hmm. Quite what bad. have you put in it? This is, is is this something revolting? It's just beans that have been blitzed up. Have you farted in it? I'm not farting it. I would have farted in it. it. Tastes like it. I only eat bean juice with farts in. Oh, okay. There is, however, yeah, a little bit of a taste of cricket. Have you mushed? No, it, no, it wouldn't. It can't because they turn everything grainy and gritty. Right. Well, this is not smooth if you look at it, Lee. I'm not having any more. No, it's not smooth. No, but that's because it's beans. It's got beans in it that have that have and gone cricket. mushy. No, it hasn't got any crickets in it because there'd be little weird flecks in. Whatever. That's all for the buzz this week. I'm going to say a pleasure as always, but he's just a lie. He's made of lies. He sits on a throne of lies. Anyway. Oh, like my smelly beans? Give it a flick. No, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't want it to flick my bean. Anyway, um, stick around, because coming up next, we have Lee in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the torture of the showbiz with Lee. What are you doing? It's naked sooty. What's the matter with you? Many, many things. This is the man who keeps mentioning gerbils, gerbils. Let's do, let's do some, um, Gerald's gerbils. Um, so Ed Sheeran. Uh, what about him then? He's what, do you know, he likes to buy his pop star friends presents okay. and give lots of money away. Oh, that's nice. So um, Sam Smith, who's back on the, the trail with, with a new album, mm -hmm. has been doing a lot of um, sort of media in, in America. Okay. And, and they have told Kelly Clarkson mm -hmm. on her show that they received a present for a non-safe for work gift oh, okay. from Ed Sheeran. It was um it was a six foot two marble penis. Ooh. It's two tons and he That's had to get it and pain. yeah. He so Ed Sheeran had to put it on a special truck mm. and when it got to Sam's house they had to get it craned into the house. Now that isn't actually what I'm just assuming that's what the penis I'd looked li like. I'd have left it on the garden. I'd leave it as a as a gnome. As a gnome. As a gnome. A couple of googly sculpture. eyes on it and called it a day. Mm. So it's oh, it's sea biscuit. <laughs> a saddle on it and a bridle. Nice. Uh, no that saddle. isn't the one because there isn't any photographic Literally, evidence of no, the. There'd be no saddle because no it's saddle. Yeah, all about bareback. Hey. <laughs> so she asked Sam how much it was, and what kind of it was like. It's they were kind of like it's thousands and thousands and thousands. Where do you put it in your house? Mm -hmm. And they replied, "Well, I was gonna. I was. I thought about turning it into a fountain, which to be fair would be quite." No, I think gushing of pain. Earth. Just having to drill down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what they've done is they've they've you know they've just kind of gone right. I'm just going to put it in my house. So we so Ed Sheeran has apparently sent it to sent similar things to other people. Um, Ed Sheeran sent it to um, the guy from Bridgerton, Simon Bassett. Ooh. Sent him a giant cock. As well, that's the thing. Um, Sending giant yeah. penises to LGBTQIR. Yeah. So Ed Sheeran has said, he said, he said in a radio interval last year that he was having this life-size penis statue made for Sam Smith after one of them in, um, in a pub said that they would love to have them, would have one. I don't know whether Sam Smith said, I want a giant marble penis, or they went, I just want some cock. Or I, I want a big cock. I want a big cock, yeah. Sam is on back... <laughs> Good dog. Sam is back on the promotion trail because their new album is being released next year. Mm -hmm. It's called Gloria. Nice. I have a picture of it there. Gloria. I do like Unholy. I don't mind it. I quite like it as a song. I don't mind it. Yeah. Holy Gloria. Just one of those things. So that'll be something to look forward to. Because I'm going a little bit more up-tempo. I'm a little bit more up-tempo. 
That's up tempo on Aren't the keyboards. They? They're going a little bit more up tempo. They are a little bit bit darker as well. A bit darker. Yeah, if you hear the lyrics to Unholy. Song about to get the shop shop or something like that. Get the body shop. Body shop. Mommy don't know daddy's getting hot at the Filth. body shop doing something unholy. Mm. Gobbling. Anyway, let's move on to the next bit of showbiz news. Awkward moments amongst celebs. We like these. So we've just had released um, Hocus <laughs> Pocus. What? What? Keep talking. Okay. I've just... Hocus Pocus 2 was released uh -huh. just in time for Halloween and it has been announced that Sister Act 3 is in production. Ooh. Now, the thing that's similar that, that, that between Sister Act and Hocus Pocus is that Kathy and Jimmy stars in both. Uh -huh. So in um, Hocus Pocus, um, in Sister Act 1 and 2, Kathy played a nun with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. So on the interview circuit in America, they were on... Kathy and Jimmy was on The View, which is kind of like the America's version of, of Loose Women, and were talking about the possibility of a third sister act. Um, so, just in a way about it. So she played, so Mary Clarence mm -hmm. in, in the show, in, in the original films. We've got a picture of them here together. Um, massively successful. That's them on the actual view at top. Bottom is them in the films. Mm -hmm. um, However, when Kathy asked about the possibility of a third film, Whoopi kind of kind of went, um, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 yeah, yeah. She said, yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it's happening. So she said that there, there were there was a script had been delivered, and they were looking at it, but there was no mention of whether Kathy was going to be in the film at all. Oh. So Kathy hadn't received the script, so it's been given the green light. Um, and Whoopi was kind of like going, yeah, yeah, I think it'll happen. We've got the script. Blah, 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 blah. Not a mention of whether Kathy's being going to be in it. I well, think that's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's not as awkward as having, sort of like, yes, this cum dribble down your leg, but it's quite awkward. <sighs> this is a picture of, of, of the, the um, film, Sister Act Back in Black, Big Old Bug, Matt Midler. Matt Midler's going to be in it. Keith Palmer, no mention of Kathy and Jimmy. Does oh. Kathy and Jimmy have a headline in it though? Well, she was one of the main characters. But was she was she billed? So when you see the post and stuff, was she ever mentioned on the post? I think I so. Think, I don't think she was. Oh. I think it was always Whoopi Goldberg in right. Sister Act. Well, who, who, watch this space. It's going to Disney, like a lot of films are doing at the moment. They're kind of being made and then they're going streaming on on Disney. So we will have to wait and see. Oh. I like Sister Act films. Not as much as Hocus Pocus, but you know. I prefer Sister Act to Hocus Pocus. Oh, OK. More singing. Right. I prefer a musical. Mm. Well, talking of musicals, what, is, what a segue is that? Oh, Ooh. It's almost like I know what you're covering, Ooh. isn't it? They like to make a musical out of everything nowadays, don't they? They do. And this one, I'm not sure whether or not, is going to be one that either of us is going to want to go and see. All right. The Great British Bake Off, the musical. I'd like to go and watch that. Would you? Where's the poster for it? So it's a musical version of the TV series Great British Bake Off. Is is been done? It's been created. It's had um, a run in the summer. Okay. Um, it's been created in association with the TV series producers, and it's an original score which explores the trials of eight eight of the bakers, their lives, and and kind of what goes on. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, so, so they said they started on working on the production a couple of years ago when it was kind of mooted that they could do it, but it's now been turned into musical comedy and, um, yeah, it apparently embraces the soulful warmth and humorous spirit of the television show and that it proves to be a real treat for, for the, for the family and anybody who comes in the, in the audience sat there pulling your pants. Um, we often say, love the bakers. Love the baking. Now it's time to sing along with yeah. I don't know whether it's for me. Apparently, there's lots of puns, handshakes, and then there's like there's so contestant wise, there's a there's a genial older woman, a cocky student, middle aged policeman, an Italian, a flamboyant man in a waistcoat, aka a gay. Um, we <laughs> we've got a picture of the actual actor. So this is this is a picture of the actual show. Oh, she was in Holby City. Was she? Yeah. Okay. We've also got another picture of the actors that play Prue. Now, which is which? One of them looks like a bad lucky 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 bad lucky likey mm -hmm. booking, and the other are the real ones. Okay. Which is which, Mike? So the top ones 
are the lucky likes. Yes, they're not. Yes, they're not. <laughs> yes, they're not. Yes, they're yes. not. <laughs> um, so it had its world premiere the, in, in July last year, mm -hmm. um, and it's coming to the West End in 2023. Um, July from last year? No, this year, Mike. I was going to say... I'm say, going to be saying things wrong. You said July last year. Yeah. Yeah, which would have been during lockdown. Yeah. Which would not streamed have happened. Streamed it. Yes, they streamed it. No, it was this year. Stupid okay. question. Um, so this year, <laughs> it was blah. Now it's going to London's West End on the 25th of February for a 12-week run at the Noel Coward Theatre. Oh. Should you be interested in that? I'm going to miss it. You're going to miss it? Oh. You're going to be in Borneo, aren't you? Be away. Bombing monkeys and stuff. Um, and that's the end of this week's show. End of this week's show business. It's not really good about monkeys. No. Gorillas. <laughs> Apes. 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 Yes. Well, oh, always nice to know that, that you, there's a musical you won't go and watch. I think that's the one. Let's stick around because coming up after this break, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chew the Cud. This week we're going to play our new improved Gobby game show. And this one is for our very own Ferret Warrior Lee. So, off you pop. Go on. Squeak, 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 squeak. He's even complaining. Game of the week. So Lee's going to show something in his face and try to explain what? What have you got on your cards? Songs, words, phrases. I'll explain, Mike. So this is the movie theme tune edition of Gobby Game Show. Oh, so I'm going to put the um, contraption inside my mouth and I'm going to sing to you some very famous theme tunes to movies. You've got to guess the theme tune and the movie. OK. Um, let me remember. You have to remember how to stop. There we are. Editor. OK. Yeah. Or a skeletal about to rim. The first one is Close Your Eyes. Never ending story. The never ending story. What? The never ending story. It's right. But every every other time I've done this, you've been pedantic and gone, I don't know what you're talking about. You get it within seconds. Okay. Are you, are you complaining the fact you could do this game for once? <laughs> no, because if you guess every single one of these straight away, that yeah. means you you have been a liar. Okay. For all the other ones. Okay. On your throne of lies. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Goldfinger. Goldfinger by Shirley Bassey. That's horrible. Look at that. I don't know. That's that's quite. Oh. It was Goldfinger by Shirley Bassey. Uh, Perhaps I should start with the verse rather than go straight into the chorus. Okay, let's try that then. Okay, all right. I will always love you by the bus. Oh my <laughs> God, you're reading them! <laughs> you can see through the paper. <laughs> you absolute bell end. <laughs> That's how I was getting the back of feet. I knew there would be some trickery of foot. <laughs> Right, you can't see this because I've not held it up. <sighs> Some of them I don't know the words, just the tune. So they might be fading in and out. Okay. Bang, bang. No. No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Love bug. As if you haven't already guessed, I only know the last the three words <laughs> of the chorus. She's just died. The crown? Not a movie. It's not from, no gallery. Oh, it is not. It's not from. It's not from Sister Act. No. I gave up then. 
Beauty and the Beast. Be From Beauty and the Beast. She not died. Angela Lansbury has. Oh, Angela Lansbury has. Yeah. Getting drunk on wine. <laughs> Testing me too deep. <laughs> Barely even friends. Then somebody bends. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, next one. I had the time of my life. I will follow him from Sister. Uh, no! And I never heard this way before. Just thought that it's the truth. And I owe it all to you. Do, 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 do. Na 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 Don't you forget about me, The Breakfast Club. No, it's not that. I had the time of my life. No idea. Really? Yeah, no idea. I've had the time of my life from Dirty Dancing. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. It was... Jennifer, Jen, something, Jennifer and Coolidge. Jennifer Warren, and Bill something. <laughs> I want to hear Jennifer Coolidge in that song. Jennifer Coolidge. Okay, okay, next song. Take my breath away. Do 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 do. The gallery have just said, "Wow, that's a tune." <laughs> Like, that's a revelation from all the other times you've had that in your face. <laughs> on a plane. Snakes on a plane? On a plane, stood on a plane. Dana, did on a plane. That I don't know. I can't. Can I remember? What? What are you saying? Lee? You went harara harara ra to get out No idea. No idea. No, stop whatever you're doing. These are like classic theme tunes. Okay. Take My be. Breath Away from Top Gun by Berlin. Oh my god. Okay. And it's something strange, and you know you're hood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. What the people at home don't realise is that the gallery sing along <laughs> to what you're doing. Right? <laughs> and even they've stopped singing along when you start singing, because they're going, I can't, I can't. They started, they were singing along to this one. And they stopped as soon as you went, <laughs> I heard in a ghost and thinking strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Just I'm trying to work out what song it is. Can you just look directly into the camera again and just go, I'm afraid no ghost? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Who? It's Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters thing. Yeah. You know, he said I have to guess the name of the movie and the song. Mm -hmm. It'd be helpful if it was sort of like Titanic, you know, the heart must go on. Because I'm doing it at the minute now, so I'm just repeating the name of the, 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 the movie. Like Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. Just saying. Oh, what a quinky thing. Mm. I see I need to mark what I've just said. I feel you. That is how I know you. God. How do I stop this? Near for wherever you are. Do, 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 do. That's, I don't know the words there. A heart does go I on. I believe that there. I'll keep going until you guessed it. Say, forever this way. No, no, no. Go on, keep going. Na, so na, 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 hard goes on. <laughs> Any ideas, Nicola? No, keep going. No, I think I've given you enough flavour. I'm waiting till you get to the crescendo. Uh, how does it go? Uh, I can't remember that, right? Mm -hmm. 
That just goes on like that, yeah. Hmm? Thoughts, guesses, thoughts, musings, ideas? Thoughts? No. No. You know what it is. The heart must go on. Yeah, from? Titanic. There we go. Do you want another one? Or Last one now. Last one, okay. Um. Da -da -na, da -da -na, da -da -da. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that supposed to be? It was supposed to be Can't Fight the Moonlight from Okay, oh, It's Ugly. You can't fight the moonlight, yeah. But it went into something else. I, I had no idea. Nah. Okay, rap. That's on. I don't want to close Stop. my it's, eyes. Um, huh? It's Aerosmith. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, I don't want to miss a thing. Honestly, because I miss you. Said, I've already said I don't want to miss a thing. Okay. Right. Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. right. And Armageddon. Because I saw the slip of paper yeah. again. But that's all for this week. Come on, let's get on to something new. What is it next? Oh, <laughs> Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we have Twat Face with Crafty Queens. I didn't slur that introduction for you, Lisa. No, you didn't. <laughs> well done, you. This week, Mike, we're gonna go. Through, we're gonna go do something that's cultured hundreds of years worth of culture. Um, now, we, you know about origami, don't you? That, mm -hmm. the, the art of paper folding, creating things out of paper. This week, we're gonna do a bit of. <laughs> we're gonna do a bit of legumagami, which is the ancient art. <laughs> Of creating things out of vegetables. Legume. Legumagami. A legume is a new is a type of nut. It's a vegetable. Legume. In some countries. Okay. Okay. I mean you can call it vegetable gami, but it doesn't have the same flow as a root. Are we making veggie pals? I don't know what this veggie pals is that you speak of, but we're going to be creating. So you, in front of you, you have an array of, of, of vegetables. So you, you've got some broccolis and some carrots and... And a tiny piece of cauliflower. A tiny piece. I've had all the cauliflower because I need it because I'm not allowed green in this area. So we're going to, today, we're going to create... <laughs> um, we're going to create... <laughs> what are you laughing at now? Just like anything green in that area. I'm not allowed. Just your sepsis. <laughs> <laughs> just the dis... Just the... Just the discharge. Yes. Anyway. So, we're going to create a, a dog okay. using the very things that we have in front of us. Now, normally I would take you step by step, but today I can't be bothered, so I'm just going to let you make it yourself. Um, okay. Go for whatever you want, Mike. I'm just going to create something myself. Okay, you're making a dog as well? I'm going to make a dog, okay. yes. But um, I'm not going to talk you through it, because one, I you're facetious, yeah. and two, I haven't practiced this at all. Um, so, Look, everybody, <laughs> I know a this big is shock. my surprise face. <laughs> big shock. Um, but what you will need is um, the, 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 what are these little wooden things called? Cocktail sticks. Toothpicks. Cocktail sticks. To um, act as the way of, of attaching the bits of vegetable to the other bits of vegetable. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, that's what's going to happen. Okay. I have looked at a picture of this. Uh-huh. And did it look okay? It looked absolutely marvellous. Um, but I did not follow through with actually... Finding out how to do it. Trying it out. Okay. Oh, that's gone th right through. Now, obviously, you know, as times are tough, times I would, are hard. they are, I would not say, you know, just get some fruit and vegetables and mess around with them and then chuck it in the bin. You can okay. eat these afterwards, so cook them. I say, times aren't that hard for some people shopping at luxury supermarkets for the vegetables. Eh? You. Well, you know, it needs must. And then followed up by, oh, it was surprisingly reasonable. It was surprisingly, re <laughs> was surprisingly reasonable. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Easily, I got them straight from the field. Fresh as a daisy. I'm not actually quite sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I know that is so hard to believe. I was gonna say, so that's Crafty Queens. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to... Oh, God, this doesn't work. It does work, Mike. Ah, it does work. Don't stab yourself either with the cocktail sticks. Um, I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm going for. So that's it, Mike. Mine's its, mine's its body. Ah! <laughs> oh! Bless you, Mike. So, right. <laughs> I'm gonna snap that in half, because you can snap them in half if you want to. That what? helps. I snap my neck in half? Yeah. Put myself out of my own misery. So you said this is the ancient art of. Yeah. Where, where, when was the oldest example of this? Um, the olden days. Oh, okay. Yeah. In ye olden times. Ye olden times. Yeah. They used to do it quite a lot in, like, Japan and those places. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's, not, that's not a made-up fact at all, is it? No, it is. It's true. That I'm gonna I'm gonna put that through there. This stinks. <laughs> okay, it's taking sh it is kind of taking shape. Now then, yeah. The back legs of mine are. Oh. oh no. Oh, no, that's okay. So... The... <gasps> Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> no! <laughs> Gallery, it is not a snowman. It might... <laughs> uh, I don't like this. Are you not happy with it? No, I just don't like this shoving bits of wood through hard vegetables in towards my hand. you just got to be gentle. I'm not known for being gentle, Lee. I'm not cauliflower. Is it, it's a white, is it cauliflower, the white one I've got? Yes. That stinks. Do you like these, these vegetable things, Mike? Do you, do these <laughs> vegetables? Non-meat. Well, why What's this non-meat I'm, I'm using? I don't like cauliflower. I don't like cauliflower cheese either. Oh, I love a cauliflower cheese. That's just faking. That's just pretending that something is... Yeah. <laughs> By tricking you, going, oh, there's cheesed, cheesy goodness, and then underneath it's got fart. I love cauliflower. Do you? Yeah. I like... <laughs> I like a bit of broccoli. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, broccoli cheese doesn't work as well, though. No, I wouldn't have broccoli cheese. I'm not sure what to do now. Um, give up. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, there are googly eyes. You can either draw, when, you, when you are happy with your creation, you can either draw googly eye. you can stick googly eyes on, uh -huh. or draw with a sharpie. Oh. Well, obviously, you want to wash it off after you've put Sharpie on it. Because that famous thing about Sharpie is them being permanent ink. Yeah, well, just don't eat that bit. Shush! I'm trying to concentrate. You're disturbing me. It's broken now, and it's your... It's broken now. It's your fault. Oh, that is... Weird. That is well cute, that. I'm going to give it... Um, actually, I'm, we, I'm put... No, I'm going to draw on it as well. How are you doing, Mike? Have I'm you... almost done, but I have gone off script. You've gone off script? Because you're not you're doing your dog? Do, 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 do. I wonder if... Um... See, I haven't got... Oh, my God, it's so cute. I haven't got um, any glue to stick the googly eyes on. So I'm just going to balance them. But then I need a tail. I'm not eating... Yeah. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Just eating the carrots. Bear with. 
just lick her. Yeah, I had to lick it to make it stick, but it's mine, so... Oh, you f***ing t Oh, you f***ing bastard! Oh, yeah, there's a bleep machine that's going to be going... Okay. We, we have to pay per bleep, though, Lee. That's just a fortune. This is well cute. Oh, look! It's a poodle! What have you made, Mike? Well, I've not made a dog. I've what? made a kiwi bird. What's that? Kiwi bird. A kiwi bird. D it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. The kiwi bird does exist. Yeah, so, yeah. It's a snuffly little bird, but yes. Well done, you. Yeah. Well, what can I say? Sorry. Another week, another successful Crafty Queens. Can that be said as much as that science that is? I don't think so. Anyway, remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, you're probably being a crafty queen. You're probably being a crafty queen. That's quite successful, wasn't it? Success is a strong word. Passable. Are you still fishing the carrot out of it? I am. Great tell that one. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. My eyes fell off mm -hmm. from the Crafty Queen's area to the table, but I'm quite happy with that poodle. Yeah, I, I quite appreciate my game. Um, kiwi. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So? Maybe it does this bit. <laughs> That's almost the end of the show for this week. Oh, sorry, I spat a bit of carrot at you then. Um, remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Cud. Typical spitting. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye! Bye. Sniff, 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 sniff. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but again.